so today we are going to be doing 2D fish tanks in our craft corner. So uh, you will be designing your own fish tank at home using a bunch of different materials that you have around the house. Anything can work and then we'll actually be showing you two different ways you can make your own fish tank. So let's get started. I'm Lizzie. And I'm Carter. And we're super excited to share this with you. So to make your own fish tanks is just four simple steps. So as always you need to gather all the necessary materials which we will go over. Then we want you to think about what to include in your fish tanks. So like I said, these are what kind of fish? Are you gonna have a submarine in there? What kind of plants are you gonna have? Anything like that. Then you're gonna actually create it. And as always, make sure you share with us at Bellwood Lodge and Camp so that everyone can see your awesome artwork. So the supplies you're gonna need, so as always, is some color construction paper, but if you don't have that, blank paper or even cardboard will work really well for this. Um, any sort of markers or pencil crayons, crayons you have around the house, but if not, you could even try some paint. Step two, so you're gonna think about what sort of fish and plants are in your fish tank. This could be anything you want. Then you're going to create it. And then as always, share it with us uh, via the email or on our Facebook post. So to start, I'm gonna show you the first version. So for this, I use actually a paper plate instead of construction and then I use construction paper for the fish and I just use some markers and pencil crayons that I had laying around the house. So right here you can see that I need some scissors, some markers, my paper plate. I actually found these green sticky notes which I thought would be really cool to use and we cut them out and make some uh, fun seaweed and then I just found a couple pieces of construction paper so that's what I have. So what kind of fish and what type of plants am I going to put in my fish tank? So to start out, I drew the outlines of the fish. So I, I knew I wanted one longer fish, a couple normal fish, and then I actually was like, you know what, I want an octopus. I want a purple octopus. So I drew that. Then I decorated them, so I made this one of a little heart. I put some polka dots on here. I gave the octopus some cool stripes, and then I actually made a rainbow fish. After I was done with that, I cut out my fish so I'd be ready to glue on. So draw, decorate, and cut out your fish. Also, I actually went outside and just found these pebbles from my backyard that I was going to glue on. I also had um, these stones from actual old fish tank that I had myself. So I was like, these would be awesome as plants that I can put in my fish tank and glue onto the paper plate. And like I had said before, this sticky note here was used to cut out for some seaweed. And once I glued it all on, that's what it looked like. So as you can see, the sticky note, I cut it up and used it for some seaweed. Here are my fish all along the paper plate, as well as some the rocks that I glued on the bottom. And then as you can see, I decided to color in the back of the paper plate um, because I thought it would look cool with the different colors. So here's some sand on the bottom, and then here's the water. And yeah, that's my fish tank. So some fun facts about my fish tank, what makes it awesome. So my fish tank is awesome because it has a variety of fish in it that are all best friends. The octopus's name is Oliver, and he uses all of his arms as the pitcher for their underwater baseball team. And of course, I'm going to definitely share this picture with all my amazing friends at Bellwood Lodge and Camp using the Facebook post, but if you don't have Facebook, then you can definitely send it into our email at info at bellwoodlodgingcamp.com. And now I'm going to hand it over to Carter because he's going to show you how to do the other version of the fish tank. Hi, so for my fish tank, I use colored construction paper, markers, and some pencil crayons. So, to start out my fish tank, I chose a blue piece of construction paper so that I had some water in the background. And then I went forward and thought about what kind of fish and plants I want to put in my fish tank. So, I thought, let's start with the fish. So I thought, what are some cool fish? Uh, I like seahorses, I think they're really cool. I made a cool little shark. And I thought, you know what, let's be a little bit silly, let's get a big old puffer fish in there. So then I decided to decorate them, I put some cool little decorations on my seahorse. I made my puffer fish look pretty silly. And then for the shark, I thought, you know what, what's cool, let's make him a striped shark. Just so he stands out a bit more. And then I cut out all my fish. So I drew the outlines, I decorated my fish, and then I cut them all out. And then I thought about what kind of terrain do I want in there. So I cut out some sand, 
Um, for the bottom of my fish tank, I cut out a little bit of seaweed, and then I thought, you know what, it's tasty? Coconuts. So I made a palm tree and I put it in the bottom of my fish tank. I then glued down all my fish to the bottom of my fish tank, and that is how it looks. What makes my fish tank awesome? So what makes my fish tank awesome is the fact that my seahorse named Stewie is super cool and he's the fastest seahorse in the world. Also, my fish tank has a palm tree in it which is super fun and gives them delicious coconuts to eat whenever they want. So if you want to make your fish tank more interactive, a really fun thing that you can do um, is you can actually cover the piece of paper or even the paper plate with a piece of cling wrap or plastic wrap and you can actually then put a stick on um, one of your fish and you can actually use it to move your fish or whatever, it, whichever fish you want within your fish tank. So it can kind of be a little more interactive and you can play with the different fish in your fish tank that way and show it to other people. So that's also super awesome. And of course, please always share it with us here at Bellwood Lodging Camp via Facebook or at info at bellwoodlodgingcamp.com. Uh, we would love to see all your amazing artwork. So that's all the time we have today for Craft Corner. So we hope you all have a super awesome week. Bye. Bye.